The Mercedes C-Class Coupe is a slick-looking executive two-door with a smart interior, but the back seats are pretty cramped and the boot isn't particularly big. What's good, elegant cabin, more comfortable than alternatives, lots of engines to choose from. What's not so good, not much space in the back, alternatives have bigger boots, infotainment isn't the best around. The Mercedes C-Class Coupe is a stylish executive car with a wide range of engines and a slick interior with plenty of high-tech features. If practicality is high on your list of priorities, you can also get it as a bigger four-door saloon or much roomier estate. Inside, this latest model also gets a massively improved infotainment system. Gone is the old car's 8.4-inch display, replaced by a crisper, brighter and easier to read 10.25-inch screen. If that still sounds a little small, you can get a larger 12.3-inch display instead of conventional analog dials that makes the C-Class Coupe looks modern. Inside, this latest model also gets a massively improved infotainment system. Gone is the old car's 8.4-inch display, replaced by a crisper, brighter and easier to read 10.25-inch screen. If that still sounds a little small, you can get a larger 12.3-inch display instead of conventional analog dials that makes the C-Class Coupe inside modern. Look past these fancy displays and you'll spot plenty of smart glossy black trims, brushed aluminium and unvarnished wood that make the Mercedes C-Class Coupe's interior look every bit as fancy as its exterior. Even the man-made leather seats you get a standard feel almost as good as the real thing. Unfortunately, the Mercedes C-Class Coupe's practicality can't quite match some alternatives. Its rather cramped back seats mean tall passengers won't be as comfy as in the likes of the 4 Series or A5 and the Mercedes boot is slightly smaller. At least you can fold the back seats down to carry particularly long luggage, however. It's more comfortable than the A5 and 4 Series, even without the optional air suspension, and you won't hear a great deal of wind or tire noise at motorway speeds. Speaking of which, go for a C220D diesel version if you do lots of long journeys, it's very quiet fast enough to easily overtake slow-moving traffic and relatively cheap to run. If you spend more time driving in town, go for a C200 petrol hybrid. This comes with a built-in electric motor for improved performance and reduced fuel consumption. For performance to match the coupe's slick looks, you'll want a C300 petrol or an even faster AMG C43 that'll accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 4.7 seconds. Whichever engine you choose, you get a smooth 9-speed automatic gearbox as standard, alongside plenty of high-tech safety features that'll help prevent avoidable accidents, including adaptive cruise control and automatic emergency braking. Together, these features help make the Mercedes C-Class Coupe very relaxing to drive, and a worthy alternative especially if comfort is your main focus. The most popular versions of the Mercedes C-Class Coupe are, C200 AMG Line Edition Premium 2 Drams 9G Tronic, C220D AMG Line Edition Premium 2 Drams 9G Tronic, C300 AMG Line Night Ed Premium Plus 2 Drams 9G Tronic. There's loads of space and plenty of adjustment to help you get comfortable in the front seats but the back seats feel slightly claustrophobic. You get a good variety of engines in the Mercedes C-Class Coupe, from a frugal 1.5-liter petrol to a twin-turbo V6, but whichever one you pick you'll find alternatives more fun to drive. The Mercedes C-Class Coupe looks and feels pretty plush inside, but add a few unpolished wood trims and things start to get very tasteful indeed. Sadly, they cost extra in entry-level cars.